Hello, you're watching Encore with me, Rochelle Harrison Pless. Thanks for joining us. Coming up on today's music show. Van Morrison keeps on singing. The music legend has hit the road with a brand new album under his belt. The weekend teams up with everyone's favorite French robots, Daft Punk putting their electro stamp on the track Starboy. And we sit down with the gender fluid rapper Mickey Blanco. She talks tattoos, flying the freak flag, and her self titled debut. Well, to talk about that and lots more, our music critic, Mariam Saab, is here. Hello, Mariam. Good to see you. Hello, Rochelle. Now, we're going to start off uh, with uh, Van Morrison after a stellar career spanning more than half a century, a slew of Grammy Awards and even a knighthood. Uh, the Northern Irish music legend uh, has a new album called Keep Me Singing, and that's exactly what he's doing, Mariam. Uh, he's still plugging away. Well, yes, at 70, Van Morrison is not going to be retiring to the wings any time soon. He's still front and centre on this record. It's taken four years for the bluesman to return with another album of originals. And we can't blame him. I mean, the rock poet's creative reservoir has certainly been strained after almost 400 songs and 36 records. It may have been hard to make this one, but it's certainly easy to listen to. Uh, admittedly, it's no Astral Weeks. Now, that album, which went on to be one of the best of all time, in my opinion, uh, he put out when he was 23 years old. Now, Sir Van has created something to be proud of on this record though it's it's a comfortable medley of jazz folk uh, rock and blues with a new spark sounds very familiar doesn't it he's like an aging spirit you know a 40 right. year old whiskey goes down smooth and warm uh, self-produced keep me singing features 12 original songs and a cover now to catch Van the man in the flesh check him out on one of his stops he's have he's going to be a uh, touring the US with Tom Jones. Mm. If you can't catch him there, then uh, we can, we're going to give you a little teaser of this record. This is Too Close. Well, it's too I think he's sounding good. His voice is still in top form. So uh, let's move on to Moscow-born Bronx-bred Chanteuse Regina Spector. She's back with her seventh album, a follow-up to 2012's What We Saw from the Cheap Seats. Does uh, Remember Us to Life have us watching from the good seats, Mariam? Now, Regina Spector's songs are like those 90s sour warhead candies. They're bittersweet. And you just, once you get into them, you're just left wanting more. Now, what we're watching now is her most recent release, Older and Taller, and her sound certainly has matured. The anti-folk pop songstress is back with her trademark pipes taking us on sugary highs and then crashing lows. And when I talk about lows, I mean in a good bottomed out emotional sense, like the kind that has you digging out of an ice cream carton. Spectre is a deep cathartic listen, disguised as something more flighty and superficial. Now on this record, she's really learned to strike the balance between uh, that quirky childlike theatricality of her voice and a realness rooted in, you know, an experience which has obviously been painful, something that she's mm. transformed into art. Now her classically trained background as a pianist comes through on this record uh, in terms of the arrangements and the composition and she's had her run of a full orchestra when it comes to recording. She's also a master storyteller that's uh, out in full force on this album definitely one to listen to it is a diverse record I like it very much Mariam right uh, the weekend is back in the spotlight with a new haircut and a new single teaming up with French electro titans daft punk on Starboy uh, Mariam I was hooked after the first listen what did you make of it I don't know I mean it was panned across the board critics oh. slammed this album and I don't know if, if the weekend is like Samson, you know, he held all of his power in his hair, so when he cut it off, he <laughs> lost it all. I Every time I listen to it, I like it a little bit more, and hopefully uh, everybody else will warm to it as well. Starboy is the lead single from The Weeknd's new album, By the Same Name, and it's a return to the scene for uh, French electro supergroup Daft Punk, and uh, The Weeknd is, you know, the R&B voice of the moment. So... 
I want it to. I want it to do well. Well, I think you have to give it a few more listens. Yes. You know, give it a chance um, to warm up. Yeah, exactly. The verse is catchier than the chorus, so just you know, let it let it grow on you. Uh, next, Mariam, you caught up uh, with the it girl of queer rap, uh, gender fluid artist Mickey Blanco. She's fierce. She's freaky fabulous. Uh, why is she on the cutting edge of hip hop right now? Because Mickey Blanco is just the real deal. Raw, real, brutal and playful. And on uh, her debut, Mickey Blanco, it's a chance to get up close and personal to the singer. From the gl gritty to the glittery, uh, she's just being Mickey Blanco. Mickey Blanco, a performance artist, rap girl persona. And then there's Michael Cutterbaum Jr. And that's a different story. Mm -hmm. Now, Mickey uh, made history as the first rapper to come out as HIV positive. Uh, it was a bold a, move, wasn't it? Yes, a very courageous move revealed mm. in a Facebook post last year. She said, I've been HIV positive since 2011, my entire career, F stigma and hiding in the dark. This is my real life. I'm healthy. I've toured the world three times, but I've been living in the dark. It's time to actually be as punk as I say I am. Mickey said that she didn't want to keep any secrets anymore. She just wanted to, to put it all out there and move forward. Uh, with her life and her music. Uh, and that was the lead up to the release of this record, which is Radical. Now, I was lucky enough to catch up with Mickey Blanco in Paris. Here's what she said about her journey up until this point. So the tattoo says sober, clean, family, good life winner. And, and so I'm not sober now, but for three months last year, and actually during the period that I wrote this album, I was sober. And um, and I got this tattoo because these are things that help you. When I was about 14 or 15 years old, uh, a theater teacher introduced me for the first time to kind of the concept of performance art. And, and Mickey Blanco really was just kind of born out of uh, out, of, out, 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 out of an idea to uh, to create a character, a persona that was initially going to be a teenage girl who wanted to become a famous rapper. There, there's a term that's used, uh, which is uh, called passable, which is you know uh, this idea that uh, you can integrate into society more if you. Um, if your features or if your body type resembles what they would call a, a cis or a, bio, a biologically born uh, uh, female, and, and 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 I, you know, my, my features and my body type didn't fit into that mold. So then, experiencing how society treats you as as a feminine gender queer person, uh, that 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 really gives you a lot of perspective. This is Mickey Blanco, Mickey Tricky B. I'll see things written about me and people will use the she pronoun and it'll be a very visibly male photo of me and people on the internet will just go crazy. You know, they'll, why are you doing that? That's obviously a he. And it's, it's gender is this thing that people just feel they, they have to safeguard so closely. But I, but I think that's, that's been a, a really deep, deep embedded thing in our, in our society for hundreds of years. I didn't know that it was just going to be Woodkid and Jeremiah, you know? I didn't know that it was just going to be those two. When I began working with Woodkid, there was no talk of an album at all. It was just really like, you know, it's like, let's make music, let's see where it goes. And then, and then it kind of mutated and morphed into, into this. <laughs> High School Never Ends began uh, in a very odd way, uh, one day Woodkid and I were in the studio and he was playing the piano and and, and he kind of created uh, kind of the bass syncopation of the song. And it was really odd, you know, it was really, it was really odd. Usually when I rap there's more of a flow. This was literally having to create a new cadence, you know? But th I think that's also why the song has a very original sound. Poppin' pills is my lane. And he has it on his feet. Takes him zips to come down. Now I'm feeling dead. Papa builds his money heat. And he has it on his feet. Takes him zips to come down. Now I'm feeling dead. So, Mariam, what did you think of the album? 
It's one of the best hip hop, hip -hop albums of the year. Wow. By far. Okay. Well, that says it all. Okay. Uh, and finally, after a five year silence, indie folksters Bon Iver are back with their most experimental work to date. Uh, Mariam, does the new record live up to the hype of its Grammy Award winning predecessor? Well, not content to key in the same formula uh, for success, the hype has thrown Bon Iver out on a limb. And on 22 a million, they've taken a leap of faith and proven they've got the wings to fly. The result is an album that soars. They're taking you higher with it. The sounds are jarring and fragmented, yet as a whole, it falls together into perfect harmony. It's quite trippy, isn't it? Yeah, soul Tri samples, mm. jagged electro mm. sounds, lots of distortion, held together on the web that is Justin uh, Vernon's voice. Now, the American singers had a hand in penning all of the songs on this album. Uh, thematically, it's a bit of a mind bender, uh, playing on themes of mortality, God, existentialism, kind of takes you to uh, his mind space when he was writing he was suffering from a lot of anxiety panic attacks uh, all to do with you know not being able to deal with losing his anonymity mm. the the pressures of dealing with fame the the record almost didn't get made uh and now Kanye West has his imprint on the record just in terms of a bromance uh, that he's established with with Justin Vernon. Uh, they collaborated a few times as well, most recently on Francis and the Lights, Friends. Now, but whatever his muse is, uh, it's working. My only complaint is the album is too short, 34 minutes long. I wanted more. OK, but, we don't uh, get any bang for our buck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we'll leave you with a clip, uh, 33 God by Bon Iver. Thanks very much uh, for that, Mariam. Uh, for more arts and culture news, check out our website and also connect with us on social media. Stay with us. More news coming up after this. I would just be